Shut up. <laughs> what? Yes. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Oh, he's going to be so embarrassed. What makes you happy? Having fun? Hanging out with friends? Delicious food? Making money? Well, consider this. Psychologists have scientifically proven that one of the greatest contributing factors to overall happiness in your life is how much gratitude you show. Yeah, think about that. Go ahead and marinate on it for a second. You can thank me later if you want. It'll make you feel better according to this study. You go ahead and click on it and read it if you want. Or you can keep watching because we read it and we thought it might be fun to test out for ourselves. We gathered a selection of volunteers to act as our subjects. First, we gave them a test. They didn't know what we were looking for, but it gave us a pretty good idea of their current level of happiness. We asked them to close their eyes and think of somebody who was really influential in their life, somebody who did something really amazing or important for them. We had them write down as much as they could about why this person was so important. Now, a lot of them thought at this point the experiment was over, until we really put them on the spot and tried to get them to call that person and read what they wrote about them. Thank you, Jessica. We are gonna have to have you call your mother. So who is that right person for you? Person is my sister, Erica. We're gonna give Erica a call. <laughs> okay. Who'd you end up picking? Friend of mine, uh, Craig Ains. Her name is Dora. My college accounting instructor. Really? Mm -hmm. Is this somebody you're still in touch with today? No, I'm assuming that he's passed on. That's, that's a <laughs> shame. To the great beyond. You up for it? Um, uh, yes. What would you say if we called up Dora? Oh, well, we can try, but she lives in Britain. In Britain? Oh, no, never by heart, dude. This is awful. That's fine. I don't know my mom's number by heart. If it's true that uh, those who are going on are looking down on us, maybe he read my chicken scratch. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Um, you got a second? Where you at, in the hotel? I am. I'm in the hotel. Uh-huh. You scared me when you asked if I had no. a second or something wrong. No. I'm on this, I'm on, like, this little TV show, and they told me to talk about the person that influenced me the most, and I picked you, and, then, and they're, making uh -huh. me call, they're making me call you. Oh, wonderful! Hi, you reached Craig. I'm not here right now. At the tone, please record your message. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Hi. Erica, it's me. All right, so I gotta read you this paragraph. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Go ahead, All right. sweetheart. All right, the person that influenced me the most would be my mother, Marlo Dawson. She is a single mother of two. She is a very hard worker and dedicated to her family. Hey, Craig, this is Loie. Um, this is gonna be a funny little voicemail, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm so sorry for calling you at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I have to read this to you, okay? And you can't say anything or, I don't know. You can respond, but I probably will just keep going. <laughs> okay? Is everything okay? Yes, but I have to read this out loud to you. The person who has had the biggest impact on my life outside of Jesus Christ, who is responsible for my existence, was my college accounting instructor. He had a joy and enthusiasm for his job like no other teacher I have ever known. I love her to death and she keeps me going with positive talk. She is a woman that knows what she wants and won't give up until it is achieved. Oh, something. I, I, I don't know what, I'm about to cry because that's so beautiful. I, 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 have, I have to say that's just, just wonderful. I first met Craig on an independent feature film set in Whitefish, Montana. I recently have been sending Craig a lot of positive thoughts as he's suffered a series of health problems. Despite his medical problems, he's continued to work and take pleasure in the small things in life, like sitting quietly with, with his wife, Janine, on the porch. Erica is my older sister and my best friend. <laughs> Sometimes it even feels like we are twins. She's my number one fan and my number one supporter. She makes me happy because despite all my mistakes and my decisions, she still loves me no matter what. Your friendship is everything, and you are, you are one of the most important person in my life. Even when she has a kid and many children, I will love her more than her kids. Okay, maybe not. I will never forget when she flew 3,000 miles to the drop of a phone call to save me from a breakup. I'm being blessed by having a son like you. I love you. 
bye. Why did you do that to me? <laughs> I don't know because they made me do it. <laughs> Thank you for picking up. Bye, sweetie. And then they're like, here, you're gonna write this letter. And then I wrote like this whole long ass letter, which, you know, I like don't write. And then all of a sudden they're like, hey, guess what? Now we're gonna call her and you're gonna read her this letter. And I was like, what the f <laughs> <laughs>